In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own elements in Canva. Welcome to another video and to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gabriel Carrillo, educator, podcaster, foodie, and lover of all things ed tech. If this is your first time here and you like the content, make sure you like, comment, and share the video. And while you're here, make sure you subscribe. That way you get notified when new videos like this are published. Now let's get into it. Let's create our own elements in Canva. All right, I'm in my Canva account and I'm using the basic personal free one. So all I did was create an account and click on the login with Google and that was it, not even the educational one. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a design. And for this one, I'm going to create just an Instagram post. Um, let's go ahead and do that one there. So now it is getting a little bit warmer outside. Spring is here. And maybe we want to maybe do like an invitation for parents to come to our classroom for a classroom party, or maybe uh, invitations for maybe your kid's birthday or what have you. A little beach theme going on. So we're going to actually create something in Canva using some of the elements and can create our own elements at the same time. So I'm going with the beach theme. So the first thing that I'm going to look for is just a regular sky background. And um, I like this graphic here. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to my project and I'm just going to go ahead and now you can't have a beach without sky and what else some sand so let's go ahead and get some sand in here this one looks good here I'm going to go ahead and so there's our sky there's our sand and now we want to maybe look for an umbrella and I'm going to filter by graphics right now and there we go that's a perfect one it says beach let's go ahead and enlarge that and i'm going to go ahead and tilt this at a little bit of an angle here and let's get that kind of staked in the ground there perfect now i'm looking for a beach ball with sunglasses i'm not sure that i'm going to be able to find that so we could do a quick search They have a couple different things, but no real beach ball wearing sunglasses. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to create our own element and group them. So let's go ahead and choose a beach ball. That one's got a little texture on it. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that onto our graphic here. And I like these sunglasses. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the beach ball. And you know, when I'm talking about creating your own elements within Canva, I really mean by doing that by grouping. So I'm gonna take these sunglasses and I'm gonna resize them so that they're proportion, ratio, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna go ahead and on my keyboard, uh, actually I'm gonna click on the sunglasses and on my keyboard I'm gonna hold shift and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the beach ball at the same time. And now I have the option to group and that's how you can really quickly create your own elements within Canva. And now what I've done is I've created this one element of a beach ball wearing sunglasses and I can resize it. I can reposition it. I can move it around anywhere on my graphic and it is now its own element. If I wanted to ungroup it, I can click ungroup and now I can move each individual element around, but I really like having that grouped together. And it's all about layers. So uh, let's say I want that beach ball maybe behind this umbrella here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and go to position. And I'm going to move that backward. So that way it is behind the umbrella here. And while we're here, let's go ahead and add maybe some Seagulls. So I've just created a real quick graphic. I could throw some text on it with an invitation, with date and time and event and all that good stuff. But most importantly, the key to this is if you can't find the element that you're looking for, create your own by grouping. So just a quick recap, got our sunglasses, got our beach ball put them where I wanted to, held the shift key and selected them both. And I have the ability to group them. And now they become one 
element on their own. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you can create your own elements in Canva by using the group feature. I'm going to be doing more episodes, more videos like this on all the different things that you could do with Canva. So if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share this video, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you get notified when all those new videos are published. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, keep creating and buen provecho.